Hello beautiful Geminis. Welcome to my channel, Irish Donna Tarot. My name is Donna Wilder Hart and we are here with your Life Path reading and Abundance reading for the month of February 2021. Okay Gemini, let's see what we have here. Your overall energy card coming into this reading is Can You Hear Me? And we see a beautiful woman walking out into the water. She's feeling lonely. She's feeling like she really wants human contact. She has a horn. And when she sees someone, she's going to contact them with the horn. She wants to know if anyone can hear her needs, if anyone can sense them. This is a theme that is very much throughout your reading today, and it is quite beautiful. So that is your overall energy. When we go next, we see this girl, and she has a key, and she has her heart locked in a cage. And the bird up here is sort of dangling this key ring, saying, try these keys, try these keys. But she has a correct key to open her heart. So she knows that she has a perfect key. You can see the look in her eye is that she's really longing for this. <clears throat> then we get the card, and this is your journey card. This is your life path card. It's Peaks of Joy, 3-3. Three, three. We see this bursting, this angel leaping in the air with peaks of joy because it's time to get that stability in your life. But this is all about your happiness, Gemini. Your, your astrology and your tarot scope are going to explain a lot of what we see here right now. But you are in a tremendously transformative period of your life. Okay. We see the card of Eros, Eros, however you'd like to pronounce it. And, you know, we can look at this as unbridled passion and eroticism. But what's really the question here is the root of the desire, the desire itself. What do we long for and why are we awakened by love? What makes us hesitate in the face of intimacy? Eros connects us with our primal longing to merge with another human being. Nature, music, art, plants, food, or anything that we really perceive as separate from our, ourselves. It allows us momentarily to unite. Our heart embraces the otherness, and in doing so, we further understand our own life and our life force awakens. Passion, playfulness, sexual health, these are all very much in play this month. You are at a turning point. I think for many Geminis, you've been alone for a long time, or you had a brief relationship or a relationship that has awakened you. Spirit's advice is be fearless and stand strong. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay. When we look at the astrology telescope, we see Gemini, and this is for Gemini risings and sun sign, but especially for Gemini risings, because I put the planets in terms of what house they would be in if we're look at you, looking at your rising sign, which is predicated on your birth time. We see the card that is telling us that you are fantasizing about what you want, that many days you're finding it a little bit difficult to focus. You're very much caught up in the energy of longing. It's all throughout your reading. I mean, it permeates the reading. It really speaks to the fact that if you can see it in your fantasy, you can believe it in your fantasy, you can manifest it, Gemini. In your seventh house that's ruled by Sagittarius, we see a lover that is lives under the water. And this lover doesn't speak to you or hasn't spoken to you. It could be someone from the past. It could be someone whom you've never met yet. 
It speaks very much to moving forward. But this person loves you. You've manifested this in the 5D if you have not done it in the 3D. When we look at this King of Water, he looks happy. He looks joyful. He's reaching out for this shell that sort of matches the shell under the water. You're calling in a lover. You're calling in a soulmate. You're calling in someone who has the same, who, with whom you are vibrating at the same level right now, Gemini. The King of Water is Scorpio energy. This is somebody who has loved before, who is the Phoenix rising from the ashes, a love that did not work out, a love that died and took this person's heart with it. This is who you're going to, to meet or you're going to connect with. So for those of you who are in relationship, you may know who your king of water is. I mean, it would be possible for it to be a husband, a boyfriend, but also it could be someone that calls to you in this more enigmatic, mysterious way. I'm looking at your money house your money house, everything that you value. And right now, many of you, Gemini, are in the process of closing out a job, a career. Some of you are retiring. It's been very successful. The world card is Saturn and Aquarius energy. And it speaks to the fact that you want to move something. You want to move to a way of earning money that speaks to your soul in a deeper level. We see in your eighth house of your either your partner's money or investment funds and or people who would loan you money, we see the queen of fire. So for many of you, you may be thinking about starting a business. You may be cashing in 401k or investment money. But we see this beautiful Venus. Venus is money. Venus is the Empress. Venus is manifestation of money. And when we have Pluto next to it, it is eighth house money, which is what this represents. It's career related money. And it really shows that for many of you, for instance, right now with the pandemic, um, there are loans and grants and things for business in the United States. And so it can also mean that you may cash in maybe part of your home in an equity loan. For some of you, you may be looking for startup cash for a business. But at any rate, it shows even some of you may get an inheritance. It's eighth, eighth house money, meaning that you know, that's where an inheritance would be located if that were the case. It will be different for everyone and there's no guarantee. You know, it's just the energy that is there in the astrology part of your chart right now. We see that you are about to release a lot of concern. This, you, when we look at the nine of air, you know, again, this is Gemini energy. Gemini, this is you in your reading. You really are working to manifest. It looks as though you want to be very local. It's a very interesting dynamic here because we have Leo energy. You're doing something that's very creative. And it looks like you might be having blockages in terms of how to communicate it. But those blockages are going to turn to inspiration because we're looking at your ninth house of publishing. So if anyone wants to start a YouTube channel, they want to start a podcast, they want to start any form of any of you that want to start any form of communicating, you may not have the skill set yet, but you're, a, you're manifesting the ability to even learn things online that you need. We have a stellium of planets in Aquarius. And Venus is almost, is really, really almost entering Aquarius at this time. This is your ninth house, and your ninth house can be university. It can be foreign travel. Some of you with the moon may be thinking about giving up your career in the U.S., a home in the U.S., and you may be 
you know, desirous of moving abroad. You know, one of those, uh, where can I live on my retirement fund for $1,000 a month or 2000 or whatever it is. Because we get Aquarius's freedom, free, freeing yourself from the shackles in terms of where you live, going someplace abundant, maybe where your money goes further. But Jupiter is also Sagittarius energy. It's international, it's foreign, it's different cultures. It can be different ethnicities, different spiritual beliefs. Whatever choice you make right now, you know, it looks as though also Mercury could be doing investigative work, you know. There's, what is it, there's a, a YouTube channel called something around the world with Briggs, B-R-I-G-G-S, something like that. And he talks about places to live all the time, places to do things. And we get the sun card. You really want your sun and your moon. You want to feel that connection so that who you are energetically with this Leo energy, you feel, you feel happy and buoyant and like you just want to enjoy your life in a way that you've never allowed yourself in the past. Saturn means that whatever decisions you make should not be taken lightly because whatever choices you make will last a long, long time. Saturn is a very long lasting influence. So any decisions taken with a Saturn aspect to it should be taken very seriously. The page of fire. This is your fourth house of home. You're feeling like you want to be somewhere where you can be more active physically more active. You want to feel playful if you have uh, young children or grandchildren. It really speaks to the fact that you want people in and out of your home. You want to be friendly with your neighbors. You know, you really want to have a lot of fiery, passionate energy really in your your domestic environment. You know, you tend to be very neat and tidy, but it's almost like you want youth there. You want to feel youthful in your home environment. We have this incredible energy of the magician. And once again, Gemini, this is your energy. You are manifesting a new career, an absolutely new career. You have Neptune, watery Neptune, with Gemini that's sort of fogging things up for you. Neptune is in Pisces. Pisces is the ruler of your 10th house for a Gemini rising. And what do we get we, when we add water and we, we add air? We have mist or fog. And so right now, many of you are feeling like you're in this fog. However, you have this tractor beam of light coming through this house of communication, this intuitive knowledge that you have, and it's giving you new momentum. For many of you, you don't know how you're going to do this. You don't know how you're going to manifest this, but manifest it indeed because it's a spiritual spiritual path for you. You are being called forth by the universe for your own development and for the development of many people around you to be the alchemist. In terms of how you feel about your children, your love life, Six of Air says that for many of you, um, your children may be leaving home, they may have left home. This really speaks very much to the fact that in a very spiritual way, you're willing to leave one place and it can be mentally, spiritually, organically, but it can mean actually picking up and moving uh, because you want to have more freedom in your ability to have fun and enjoy your life at a much richer level. And a court, you know, and we have the king of fire here. So this is a natural first and seventh house also. So with all of this freedom, we have all this Aquarius energy here. We have Aquarius. 
but now we have the Aquarius Six of Air. So you want freedom. You want freedom in your love life. You want the ability to, to have a relationship that may not fit the mold of what other people would expect. Because when we look at the planets that are in Aquarius, and this is an Aquarius card, we have relationship. You may really want to break out of the mold and have a relationship with someone who is very different from yourself, very different, somebody who allowed you a lot of psychological freedom and yet to have an incredibly passionate relationship. This is the Leo King and this is, you know, fifth house, ninth house, excuse me, fifth house, eleventh house. So you may know this person. You may know this person through associations, affiliations, professional organizations, but it really speaks to the fact that you want to have this incredible, fiery, tender, loving relationship. You don't even if you've been married, you may not feel as though you're connecting with your partner in the way that you once did. And so even within a relationship, you could feel this sense of longing. When we look at your sixth house of everyday life, you want a complete change. You want transformation, Scorpio energy. This is a card of, you know, the planet Pluto. So when we look at Pluto, it's really a day-to-day -day change in your life will definitely alter the money that you have. And so it's something that you're thinking about very carefully. When we look and see, you know, what is going on in your 12th house of what's hidden, what nobody sees is that we have Uranus once again. Aquarius and Uranus are partners. And we have Mars. Mars is moving very quickly. Uh, it moves about two, two, it takes two days to go a degree. But Mars is, has about another month in um, Taurus. And we're really seeing that you really want a new version of you. You want to take this Mars energy. You know, when we look at Taurus, it's like the status quo. It's a fixed sign. But we, you want movement here. You want a lot more movement. So some of you may be seeking a second home. But I'm really seeing this tremendous, almost cry to the universe to manifest an absolutely exquisite relationship and new opportunity. So we have, you know, this beautiful masculine energy. We have beautiful feminine energy. You know, we have the beautiful card of transformation. But it will alter who you are internally, Gemini. You are changing. Your friends may not really sort of recognize you. If you were to tell everyone how you felt inside, you know, some of the people closest to you would be unprepared for it. Because again, we haven't had this many planets in Aquarius, which is freedom loving, setting yourself free, the age of Aquarius, the sexual revolution since 1962. You want your own sexual revolution. You want your own emotional revolution. You want transformation from your health, your body, to your mental state of being. You don't want it really, you really have this compelling feeling out with the old and in with the new because I've stayed in this place as long as I can be here and I know spirit wants me to go elsewhere. Another aspect that is true right now of Geminis is that the North Node, everything that's new to you that you haven't learned in a previous life is right on top of Gemini suns at 18 to 19 degrees. So what it's calling on you to do is to build your past life for your next life. <laughs> It's calling on you to release that which is um, familiar to you. You're really being called on to step out of your comfort zone. And the universe is conspiring to force you to do it.
to force you to grow, to force you to be more honest about this energy. This is incredible energy. You're going to feel for some for some of you, you're very much in your feels right now. For some of you, you will feel as though you've been shot out of a cannon and you're wondering what's going on. For others, you're well on your way in this journey, but it is an incredible, beautiful journey filled with a you know you right here being the alchemist and changing your life from the absolutely the grassroots right through you know your entire life gemini i hope you found this helpful send love and light sending you love from chicago irish donna tarot bye-bye